on the waterfront with Marlon Brando as a tough, macho longshoreman? Well, these are the docks of Port Newark, the section of the New York waterfront that inspired that film. And some things haven't changed much since those days. The ships still come in with cargo from all over the globe, and the longshoremen still unload them. It's one of the toughest jobs in the world. And the men who work here still pride themselves on their ability to get this back-breaking work done. Well, some things down here haven't changed much, but one thing has. Working alongside the longshoremen, there are now a few gritty, determined longshore women. Even the docks are changing with the times. And today, women are making their presence felt on the New York waterfront. I decided to go down to the Newark docks to see how the men were taking it. First, I talked with the foreman, Tony Nicastro. How are things working out between the men and the women? Some of the men uh, resented it uh, quite a bit. And uh, others uh, didn't carry it away. There was mixed emotions. How do you feel about having women on the line here? I don't think the women belong down here because I don't think they can do the work as good as the men and as fast. And I don't think they can do the physical labor like the men, and they don't belong on a piers. You have to realize that there are people that, will, that have been working in Port Newark or Elizabeth Longshoreman for 20, 30, and 40 years. And some of these men would, uh, would never dream that a woman would be working alongside them in this type of work. This was, at one time, completely, unequivocally, a man's world. Do you resent having them here? Sure, I resent having them there. They should be home cooking for their husbands and taking care of their kids and everything else. We work harder than them. They don't belong here. This is a man's job. Well, Gwen Wells doesn't think so. And neither does Pearl Dallas Barnes, who is also a part-time model. They're a couple of pioneering women who are making a place for themselves down here. But from what they tell me, it sure wasn't easy. It sounds like your first day on the job wasn't the most fun day of your life. They were staring at us. What are you doing here? Asking questions. What are you doing here? You don't belong here, you know, and things like that. But we kept supporting ourselves because we knew we wanted that job and we were capable of doing the work. Why would you want this job? It's so hard. For myself, uh, I'm uh, an adventurer, and uh, this is quite an adventure. Well, I'm married and I have a son, so I, it's, it's, I feel that having this job I can be able to stand out on my own. I don't have to really depend on my husband for totally all support. How does your husband feel about what you do? He's thrilled. Why? He couldn't believe it. He said, look at you, you're so little. How could you do that? Do you ever feel like maybe your son wants to grow up more like mommy than daddy? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would want him to. <laughs> what was your family's reaction when you told them that you wanted to be a longshore person? Well, my mother was a little shaky about the whole incident. She uh, uh, was wondering, well, why don't you ever find regular things to do? <laughs> <laughs> the women are hanging in there, and longer than many of the men thought they would. And to their dismay, their once all-male dock now even has an official ladies' room. But what really seems to get their goat is the thought that maybe a woman can do the job. The best woman they got down here can't compare with the, the weakest man. Well, I went across the river to New York City and interviewed some women to see how they felt about that. Not. You get women that are stronger than men. Okay, you get little weakling guys, one punch, you knock them out. Why can't we do it? She cuts them the one. <laughs> this is longshore man. Hey. Longshore man. Hey, what about that longshore woman? Longshore man. No, no what we think about that. I think a woman can do anything she set her mind to do. You want another load some boxes? I decided to take up the challenge and see if this woman okay. could do anything Not she set that. her mind to. Back off. All right. Very easy. Now, the guy teaching me made this look easy. I mean, this was a piece of cake. Want to give it a shot? Right. Yeah. Now, when my turn came, I could swear the bananas were coming a little faster. But I handled my first crate like a real pro. That's when I got a little overconfident. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Don't miss. Don't miss. Oh, oh, oh.
overall, in the contest between Sarah and the bananas, I think the bananas won. And to add to the insult, I also sustained a major on-the-job injury. I broke a fingernail. <laughs> I'm told the shifts are eight hours long. Eight seconds was long enough for me. I came away from that loading platform with a new appreciation for any woman who could do this kind of work. A woman like Gwen Wells, who despite all the odds, seems able to call on some inner strength to make the grade. The greatest thing that I can say that's happened is uh, working for my new foreman and maybe getting complimented that I can throw those boxes. <laughs> Gwen, who influenced you most when you were growing up, your mother or your father? My grandfather. Why and how? My grandfather is about the greatest person that I've ever known. Um, he uh, was a modern person for his time. Um, he did not believe in limitations for women or certain jobs that the men did. He believed that everybody pulled their weight. He once told me never to, uh, to hate. Instead of that, take that same energy and uh, create with it channel it into something else and you'll see how fantastic you can come out with it we've lasted this long and i think um we'll be holding out for a while these are times when it's best i feel that uh, you help yourself and that men as well as women it's good for all of us that we all use everything that we've got it just makes it for a bigger world